From the Rush Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin, it's time for Phoenix basketball. Tonight, the Green Bay men look to snap a two-game slide as they continue their non-conference schedule against Eastern Illinois. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast. Ted Stavaniak alongside former Phoenix player Cordero Barkley. CB, the Phoenix let one slip away in their last outing over at Belmont. So the Phoenix are really a team in need of building some consistency right now. Yeah, I mean, they had to lead for... Or Played really well for 32 minutes in that game. Belmont with a 51 point second half really took command of that game late. So definitely looking for some consistency in this youthful Phoenix team. We take a look at the starters for the two and four Phoenix tonight. The starters brought to you by Pepsi Cola. Starter David Jesperson, the, the senior, really gave the team a boost to Nashville this weekend. Yeah, Jesperson with 16 points, four or five from three, definitely gave the Phoenix a much needed boost down at Belmont. Phoenix hosting two and five Eastern Illinois tonight. Jawan Starks has been their go-to guy. Yeah, Ohio Valley Conference newcomer of the week, averaging 15 points per game. Uh, he's the, uh, the the energy guy that Eastern Illinois needs. And we are underway here. Glad you can be with us on ESPN3 Eastern Illinois in their blue uniforms and Green Bay in their home whites. Eastern controls the tip. First possession of the game and two points on the baseline is Montel Goodwin. Yeah, smooth lefty floater there on the baseline using the shot fake to lift the defender. Inside they go to Jesperson coming off that great game. One of two seniors on this roster for the Phoenix. Jesperson to Khalil Small. Pipes, the freshman. P.J. Pipes into the paint. Kicks to the corner, Jesperson, one more pass, and Hankerson missed the shot. Loose ball, who wants it? Yeah, that was a, a great next pass by Jesperson to Hankerson. Hankerson didn't catch it clean, not able to put it in. Musa Dama came up with the loose ball rebound. A lot of action in the post between Dama and Patterson. Shot no good by Starks, his first of the game. Pipes pushes the floor quickly. Hankerson into the paint, Euro step, and in and out. That's a nice move, just not able to finish. And the Phoenix having some matchup problems here in transition as Starks takes advantage. Panthers attack quickly, and they are up 4-0. I know this isn't the start that Coach Garner wanted. And then you compound that with a turnover. Jesperson looking for a small on the backdoor cut. Tough angle yeah. from that position. It's not a, not a good look there. That was one he just needed to get reversed and live the play on. The Phoenix here just they got to relax. I feel like uh, Eastern Illinois comes in. They have some confidence. They're playing well now. Almost beat Marquette in, in overtime and go down to Bradley and compete. What do you look for as some of the keys in this one, CB? Well, right away, I didn't. I, you don't want to see Starks get going. And then if you're uh, Eastern Illinois, you, Obviously, you have a desperate team in the Phoenix here come off this two-game state at home. You don't want to give them any confidence early. Goodwin with the floater, and it goes. Keys of the game brought to you by Oneida Nation. A good mind, a good heart, a strong fire. And uh, you see here right away, Eastern Illinois with the confidence. That Patterson shot was rejected. Jesperson gets a second look at it, and that, too, is a miss. Yeah. Dama doing a great job of contesting. He got the block on the first one and altered the, the second shot with a great contest without fouling. Inside to Dama. Into the paint. Little baby hook on that one. Little strong. Here's Pipes to Small. Small with a lane. And that is going to be a block. Looked like he was inside that restricted area. Yeah, clearly he was, he was pretty deep under the rim there. Almost you just got to let that one go versus uh, picking up that end one. But Khalil Small doing a great job of attacking in transition. And yeah, you take a couple of knees from Khalil Small in the chest. That'll help you get out the way later on in the game. <laughs> Good take by Khalil, who goes to the free throw line. He's been spectacular at the free throw line. Yeah, silky smooth from the line. Over 91%, almost 92 on the year. Now 35 of 38 from the free throw line. I can't do that on PlayStation. 
Well, you count on your seniors for leadership, and doing it at the line is just as important. Yeah, that was a big bucket for the Phoenix to kind of, that, that'll probably get this team to relax a little bit just to see one go in early. Eastern Illinois doing a good job on their end offensively. Lewis, three-pointer is good. Just came around a screen and knocked it down. Terrell Lewis. Hankerson comes back the other way. Kick back out to Jesperson. Pipes knocks down the three-pointer. And I got DJ Pipes. Let me tell you how big that shot is, CB. He was 0 for 12 this season from the three-point line. First three of his college career. And he is very capable from three. I mean, that's something that he can do. But right back the other way, Starks answers. And Starks again, man, he's so talented getting to the rim and finishing. Jasperson tried to drop it off for Patterson. The Panthers come up with a loose ball. Traveling on Shavers. And the Phoenix will get a couple of substitutions coming in. T.J. Parham checks in, as well as Soup Jock Baines. Yeah, you see both teams playing with some pace here. Though. I expect this to be a high-scoring affair. Both teams want to get up and down. Hunter Christ will also come in for Khalil Small. So three subs, some young players on the floor right now. Three freshmen. Christ, one of those freshmen, into Patterson. Patterson works the block. Switched hands as he went up. Good finish. Yeah, I thought he was going to shoot that with his left hand. Decided to shoot it right. Still got it to go. Eastern, Eastern Illinois doing a good job of staying vertical. But Patterson with a big time finish. A good defense from Sukjak Baines with the deflection. And Lewis with his own deflection gets it back. Parham lost the handle. Good pass inside. And underneath, Patterson's going to be whistled for the foul. Great find there, Jackson. We've got a timeout on the floor. The Panthers leading the Phoenix. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Take the worry out of winter driving by riding on a new set of tires from Mills Fleet Farm. Need tires for your truck, car, or SUV? Get the tires you need at the prices you can afford. Fleet Farm carries all the best brands, Michelin, VF Goodrich, Cooper, Roadrunner, and many more. Stop in to see our full selection. If you have questions, our experienced team can help. Be safe. Be smart. Get the best tires at the best prices. Look at Manny Patterson again. Looked like he was going to go with that left. Maybe didn't trust the left hand. Went with a stronger move with the right hand. A lot of coaches won't, won't appreciate that, but I'm sure Coach Darner appreciates he finished. Yeah, that's all that matters. <laughs> two <laughs> points is two points there. That's all I care about, right? Give me the bucket. <laughs> i tell you what, though. Uh, the Panthers come out to a hot start. Five of seven, 71% from the floor to get this game going. D'Angelo Jackson at the free throw line for Eastern Illinois. D'Angelo Jackson from 
Racine, Wisconsin. It's, it's pronounced uh, by some as Racine, but if you're from there like myself and D'Angelo, <laughs> you say Racine. Racine Case Product. I'm happy to see, the, see another 262 native on the floor. <laughs> and he gives the Panthers a 13 to 8 lead. Ooh, Chris got away with a carry. Yeah, I, you saw that, saw that one coming. And then the turnover by Christ. Does not look comfortable with the pre pressure on that possession. Hunter Christ out of Indiana. Crown Point, Indiana. Phoenix with three turnovers already in this one. I tell you what, Chris makes mistakes, but they're not from lack of effort. Kid plays hard. During the timeout, small check back into the game for the Phoenix. Jackson with an offensive rebound. Goodwin lines up a three-pointer. Drew nothing but air. Chris may have got a piece of him. No. No, he just, he, anytime you blow your hand after you air ball, you blow the hand and make sure it's warmed up, that just means you just missed that one. You <laughs> nobody else. <laughs> I've been there. I'm, I'm telling from player experience now. <laughs> The ball, the rim, yeah, oh the yeah. wind, air conditioner. <laughs> All of the above. Yep. Small from the left wing. Attacks and finishes. Khalil Small. And Khalil Small does such a good job using his body to create separation at the point of his release. One of the stronger guards in the Horizon League, able to lift and finish that floater in the paint. Khalil averaging close to 15 points a game, coming off a 13-point performance at Belmont on Saturday. Baines with the steal, gives up to Chris. Chris with the finish. A big basket for Hunter Chris. Yeah, absolutely. No, that was a nice pro hop to, to avoid the defender and finish with the left hand. He started off on the defensive end, though. Baines with a deflection and a steal, able to push and make the right decision. Hunter has struggled a little bit offensively. Didn't have any points in that game in Nashville. Yeah, he's got to... Sometimes you just got to see one go early, Ted. Jackson will attack. Oh. Patterson got a piece of that, but the rebound goes right to Starks, who missed as well. Patterson down below. He might as well throw up the Matumbo finger, <laughs> protecting the house. Now they're looking at that block. I just want to have to get that out of here. That's, what, that's the race scene in me kicking in right there. That's how he... <laughs> How we would play that one. <laughs> Crowd can't hear that, but no. he, but he would have heard it. <laughs> he may have. <laughs> Starks, Starks would have knew about it. Phoenix looking for a lead here, trailing by one. I can promise you one thing, though. Starks is going to stay on the attack. That's not going to change his his demeanor. Tell you what, it is it is physical away from the ball in this game. Christ got tied up with Starks. And they call Chris for the moving screen. Well, there were arms flying from both guys, and they got Chris. Lewis working against Chris to the corner now. Oh, well. I told you, it is physical away from the <laughs> ball. It's got Dama with the back screen. He never never allowed the, the uh, defender, call it a step to make a decision to go either way. They just kind of met at each other before he was set, so. Yeah, Dama's been very physical in the first seven minutes of the game. Now Lewis applying all kinds of pressure on Chris. Uh, Lewis is the worst type of guard defensively. He's a little guy that can get up under you as Palm knocks that in. Palm, nice shot by TJ. His first points of the game. I always said, I always struggle with those little quick guards, man. They <laughs> make your life miserable with lateral quickness up top. Lewis is that is that guard. He's listed 5'7", 150. Nope. nope. Well, I'll give him the 150. 5'7", not so much. He plays bigger than 5'7", though. I'll tell you that much. Yes, he does. Lucas Jones is on the floor for Eastern Illinois. Lewis throws up a wild shot trying to beat the shot clock. He did. It didn't go. Stark stayed man. with it. Starks just playing bully ball down here on the block. Gets the offensive rebound in the putback. Bell to Christ. Trevi and Bell now working against Dama. 
10 on the shot clock. Small takes a look at the clock. Five seconds now. Kick to Christ and an offensive foul. A little bit too much. Yeah, I mean, that's, you just got to get rid of that one a little bit earlier. No need for the charge. You already drew the defender kick. Good job by Lewis. Timeout on the floor. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Today's first half broadcast of Phoenix basketball is brought to you by Prevea Health, Pepsi Cola, and Oneida Nation. Ted Stavonik, Cordero Barkley with you. Green Bay down by one right now. TJ Palm with a beautiful move to give the Phoenix a temporary lead. And the young fella here using that step back to create separation. And a lot of, a lot of right hand players like to get into that step back going left. He used it masterfully there. Eastern Illinois trying to build on a one point lead now. Dama spin on the block and he is fouled. So Musa Dama will go to the free throw line. Oh, I love, look at the footwork here, Ted. KG space up, little forearm to get, get create some separation on Bell, spin to the middle. And Ted, you know I'm all about the footwork. Love the footwork, but look at the space he took up with those steps. They weren't baby steps. No. He used his steps to get somewhere. And used contact to create separation. Talking to a former post player, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Dama knocks it down. Knocks down the first free throw. 92% free throw shooter. Dama now 14 of 15 from the line on the season. And what a luxury when you can have a big that can step up and, and shoot free throws. But the Panthers, I tell you what, they play hard defensively. This is a team that's better than this 2-5 and five record. Both teams 2-5, and five and Hankerson with a walk. One of the other things you really got to watch for and what you've seen kind of play out already from the Panthers is that rebounding edge Eastern Illinois has. They lost to Bradley, had 30 rebounds in the game, which isn't a whole lot, but 15 of the 30 were offensive. <laughs> yeah, they go and get it. And sometimes we say that's the team's best offense is when you chuck it up and go get it. Give yourself out extra opportunities. Oh, Ali Musa Dama. <laughs> Good one with the dime. And Hankerson got away with one there, good push. But Dama, holy moly. <laughs> Elevator second floor, please. Small inside to Bell. And look at the motor on Dama. I, I contest that shot, first one down the court. Sets the screen and gets good one a good look. Montel Goodwood knocks down the three, and just like that, it's 22-14, the Panthers strike quickly a 30 second break on the floor so we'll keep it here as we get a look at Dama finishing on the alley-oop speaking of Paul Ted were you doing that at Creighton back in the day <laughs> alley-oops <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of them <laughs> I had a great seat for all those alley-oops <laughs> absolutely <laughs> that's, a, that's a good look that's a good drive and you had the offense had to step up and help and just great recognition by Goodwin to throw that up there Phoenix basketball is brought to you by Adidas, the preferred supplier of apparel and footwear for Green Bay Athletics. Yeah, the Panthers, man. So last 147, 9-0 run. So rightfully so, Coach Darner with a good timeout to try to calm his team down and probably draw something to get a good look. Phoenix haven't scored in the last 227 plus, so definitely got to make that adjustment. DJ Pipes from the baseline. Phoenix still shooting over 50% right now, but Eastern Illinois had a much better clip. Dama with another offensive free oh, ball, throws oh. it down. Oh, my goodness. He took off from the block. <laughs> go, go, gadget arms. And starts with the initial deflection to keep that offensive rebound alive. Dama able to clean up and punish the Phoenix with a big time dunk. Hankerson tries to answer, and here come the Panthers. Dama was leading the break. They missed him. 
He has a big time odor. He's out there playing with a smile. <laughs> I'm tired from watching him. <laughs> and he gets the tap out there on the offensive rebound as well. Crossland gave it up to Starks. Small with the rebound. Small kicks, Hankerson, he'll go strong to the hoop off the glass and good. And Eastern Illinois will take a timeout. Coach Jay Spoonauer not happy with the transition defense that time. No, Cook cannot be happy. Hankerson, hey, well, you see Dama here, hammer dropped straight to the floor. But the Panthers did not do a good job of matching up in transition. A lot of cross matchups. Phoenix playing a smaller lineup with Jesperson in there instead of Patterson. Uh, kind of causes those cross matchups and Hankerson able to get all the way to the rim uncontested and finish. This is the 38th meeting between these two clubs. Green Bay holds the edge. 22 games to 15. Both teams used to play in the Mid-Continent Conference. The Mid-Con. Back in the 80s and 90s. I was born in 87, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> well, Green Bay was in the Mid-Continent back then. You were always in the Horizon League. I was always yeah. in the Horizon League. Yeah, we had the luxury of playing Butler twice or three times a year sometimes. And they made those couple of national title runs. Some really good ball being played. Back, back in my day. <laughs> back in my day. Back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Here's Goodwin. Little oh floater. My goodness. And I just love that's a great just change of platform. We call it a change in your platform to get that floater off. That was a nice looking shot. Goodwin, three of four from the field. Seven points in the game. We'll get a foul before that shot. Pipes was fouled. Right now, the shots seem to be coming easier for Eastern Illinois than, than the Phoenix right now. Well, right now, the Phoenix are giving up a lot of middle penetration, and that's where you give up those offensive rebounds when, when the defense has to collapse up to help. It doesn't allow you to get bodies uh, on those weak side wedgers for rebounds. So uh, you're seeing that where even on the, the first look, if they get the, the shot to miss, the Panthers are getting a ton of second looks. Pipes took the three and will have a foul away from the ball on the rebound. I think that's a, that'll be on Manny Patterson. Yeah, and he, uh, he was trying to argue with the ref. The ref had something to say to him. He's still staring him down. Patterson and Dama discussing things as well. <laughs> so referees are on him now. Now you, now you got to be smart enough not to pick up another foul. Small on good one. This is Crossland with the ball. Lewis will bring it back up top. Eight on the shot clock. And Jesperson just not with the foot speed there. Picks up the bump. And Ted, I mean, across the lineup, I just feel like the uh, this Eastern Illinois team is just quicker than the Phoenix right now. I mean, it, it's had a foot speed advantage in a lot of positions. Wide open in the corner, Crossland was short on the three. Jesperson with the rebound. Small breaks out. Pull up jumper. Dama with the rebound, above the rim. <laughs> I think uh, Dama's got a couple of fans over here. <laughs> he plays hard, man. I wish I was gonna send, send this tape to all my posts that I coach. Talking about motor and effort. Well, motor, effort, and you're doing it with a smile. <laughs> you're having fun out there. That's what it's all about. Lewis, great pass. And then another scoop pass finds a wide open Goodwin. And Goodwin let Pipes know about it, too, on the way back down. Great extra pass. Unselfish play from this Panthers team. Good cut by Pipes. It's not able to finish. Tried to go up with the right hand, and maybe that's where the that's where the defense was sitting. That's where they got the block. Yeah. Patterson, Patterson with the block. A nice block. Small now. Pipes will take the three. Well, he's got one in this game, and, and that was a big one for him, as we mentioned, the first of the season. But yeah. That's a good look for him. I mean, that's a shot he has to take there, though. You can't, you can't pass up those looks. You got to continue to develop because he is capable. I, I go to come to the practices and see him hit 10, 12 shots in a row. 
from three. So he is very capable. Just got has to see one going in the game. And Jesperson good just one. not mm, Jesperson not able to keep up with all the different screens there. Again, Goodwin much quicker than Jesperson on the wing. And Goodwin shot is just hitting nothing but the bottom of the net. Six of eight from the field, 12 points in this game. A foul. Well, what are we going to get here? Hey, we got that on one of the Phoenix players. We'll get this figured out during this timeout. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Was that on? The opportunities have been boundless. We do such hands-on stuff. It's like another home. It's a home away from home. It's a big city school in a small town environment. It's not about if I'm going to succeed, it's about when am I going to succeed and how can we get there. I'm not specified to one degree or one program or one class. Um, you know, I have a, a, a wide variety of views for the world and for the campus. I'm challenged to critically think beyond the material and beyond the discussion. I really love that Green Bay has still got that big city feel, but the campus has like that nature state park type feel. We have some of the greatest professors that have small class sizes and you can really relate to. UW Green Bay has been a huge impact uh, on my confidence level and what I can do. It's got so much to offer. I think from where I was at when I transferred here to where I am now are two completely different people. It's been a phenomenal transformation. Take the worry out of winter driving by riding on a new set of tires from Mill Sweet Farm. Need tires for your truck, car, or SUV? Get the tires you need at the prices you can afford. Fleet Farm we carries all back. the best brands. Michelin, VF Goodrich, Cooper, Roadrunner, and many more. Stop in to see our home. full selection. If you have questions, our experienced team can help. Be safe. Be smart. Get the best tires at the best prices. Mills Fleet Farm. Back at the Rush Center in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Ted Stefani at Cordero Barkley with you in Eastern Illinois. We knew that they were going to be a tough team, and we weren't fooled when we saw that 2-5 and five record when you start <laughs> looking at some of the numbers and what this team has done this year. Yeah, no, I was not fooled at all. I mean, they've had a number of close games, four-point game at Nebraska, three-point loss, Southern Indiana to start an exhibition. I mean, overtime with Marquette, three-point loss, so... Definitely not a, a team that's uh, that's two and five. I mean, they're a few points away from being five and three or five and two, should I say? So uh, they definitely are capable. Parham whistled on the screen. So another foul on the Phoenix. Six team fouls right now. Actually, that was the seventh, but offensive, so no free throw on that one. Small wants to push, but against the double team, he will pick up a five. I think Crossland will be whistled for this foul. A little small was probably bailed out on that one. Never really had control of the ball. Five forty-two to go in this first half. Hankerson. Splits the defenders. He'll try it himself. Blocked. Diallo able to stretch up and foul or block it without fouling him. Bubakar Diallo. Where's number 55? He's in there for Dama right now. Stars got that old school Anthony Mason mid post game. I'm just going to bully my way down to the block. <laughs> Well, Dama leaves, he was 6'9". Diallo, he's 6'9". Meanwhile, Lucas Jones, he's only 6'8", but he knocks down a three. Yeah, took, some, took him a little bit to get that shot off, but it definitely went down silky. Timeout by, uh, by the Phoenix. Yeah, 10-0 run, uh, last 3.56 for the Panthers. And Coach Donners trying to draw up something to, to break the seal on this uh, rim down here for this Phoenix team. 
And young team, I mean, you got to remember uh, they lost the former Mr. Wisconsin basketball player of the year, Trevor Anderson, to Wisconsin. He would be back, was one of the leading scorers last year. You lose a uh, big fella. I'm about to, I can't, for whatever reason, I can't remember. Karam Cantor, he's at uh, Xavier now as a grad transfer, senior year. And uh, this team looks completely different, different with those two on the floor uh, than without them. So going to be some growing pains for this team. Well, seven freshmen on this roster right now for the Phoenix. And a lot of new faces. <laughs> Only two seniors. Will Chevalier, one of the freshmen with the finish. Big Will from, from Kimberly High School here, local product. Nice play call out of the timeout by Coach Darner to get a quality look. And Lewis just rolled his ankle or did something. Maybe it's that knee that he has wrapped up. Yeah, they're going to check on Lewis. He's in quite a, quite a bit of pain right now, so. Yeah, I didn't see what he did. Don't want to. Don't want to ever see anyone get hurt like that. Didn't appear to be any kind of contact. That was the worst kind of injury. And they're going to check on Lewis. 5'7 guard is senior. And you'll see the replay here. Oh, oh, just turned his ankle. Sli slid and uh, caught. It's like he caught maybe a, a wet spot, and then he caught some uh, a dry spot of the, part on the floor and yeah, that's not fun to turn your ankle like that. Hopefully you can uh, walk that off. Yeah, you don't want to see those, those ankle twisters. Of course, you just saw the Steph Curry yep. ankle twist the other night. And yeah, those those hurt. I haven't been through those many, many times. Oh my goodness. Hopefully yeah. Lewis will be able to shake that off. At least it wasn't a knee though and it's something that you can kind of pinpoint though. Yeah. Now, Lewis, you know, milestone. Trainers working on that left ankle of Terrell Lewis of Eastern Illinois. Lewis just reached a milestone in that last game against Bradley, reached 1,000 points in his career, 37th player in Eastern Illinois history to accomplish that feat. Hopefully he'll be able to get back on the floor tonight. Well, I just, at his size in the Division One game, I just think of how crafty He's had to bend and get to that 1,000 points. He's a heck of a ball player. Goodwin, the lefty, missed the shot. Parham has the rebound. Hankerson, one-on-one -on -one to the baseline. And the Phoenix just can't seem to, to break that seal. Oh, Hankerson with a quality look. He's not able to get it to drop. And Goodwin trying to change his shot there. Good contest on defense by the Phoenix. Baines to Hankerson. Small wants the three. Got it. It's good action there. A couple of driving kicks. You got two reversals over the top of the paint there. And Khalil Small able to step into a wide open three. Got to get some more open looks like that for Small. He's a 47% three-point shooter. Doing a better job this year of taking good shots, too. I sure feel like he forced a lot of contested shots. This year he's uh, reaping the benefits of efficient basketball. Little one-on-one -on -one for Stark against Bain. And Crossland lost the handle, but Eastern Illinois, oh, the break's just going for the Panthers right now. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, they said it would be days like this, right? Sometimes you just can't get one to go your way. Two seconds on the shot clock. They get it off in time, but an air ball, so a shot clock violation. And I wish they would, in uh, basketball, they would just let that play on versus taking that out. So that good defense from the Phoenix there, even with the extra possession, or not the extra possession, the extra baseline out of bounce play out of the Panthers, able to get a quality contest to get the stop. Now can you get a bucket on this end and then get another stop if you're the Phoenix? That's the question. Can you string together some stops in a row? Nice look by Parham. Yeah. He's had a couple of nice baskets tonight. Uh, Parham can put it in the hole. He likes to jump shot. He likes to create separation on his pull-ups. Very capable scorer. TJ, a redshirt sophomore. Transfer from Wabash Valley College in Illinois.
Five on the shot clock. Starks in trouble. Out to Crossland. That's a live ball. You heard the shot clock go off, but it clearly hit the rim. Yeah, good hustle again by the Panthers. Able to come up with another 50-50 ball. And now the Panthers now, Phoenix, since Coach Darner took that timeout, 7-0 run. But extra possessions will make it tough to continue that. That's a big time take. Palm in the right spot. Able to take the charge on Goodwin as he drove to the rim. And this, these are the energy plays here that you need. When offense is, is going tough, you need to be able to slide in there and get a good charge. Parham doing it on the offensive and defensive ends right now. I, that's, that was my role, Ted. I didn't score a lot, but I could do, take charges. There he was on his last shot. I couldn't do that. Couldn't do that. No, <laughs> no, no freedom to do that, no. Everyone's got to find a role. You, you got to know your spot. You got to know your role. Be a star in it. Parham. Parham knows his role, a three-pointer. Parham's getting it going. And the officials stop the game for a moment. They're checking on Starks. I and didn't see what happened. I, I didn't either, but the official was very concerned about Starks. I'm not sure if he got hit in the head or or what no, or no. what happened, but there was a lot of concern by one of the officials for Juwan Starks. And there's no, we didn't see it on the replay. We saw a problem knock down the three. I didn't see what happened there. They're taking them back to get them looked at too. Hmm. Well, hopefully he's all right. Yeah, we'll see if we can find out what happened to him. Maybe look back at some of the other replays previous to that. Meanwhile, play continues. Wild shot thrown up and good by Justice Green. Justin Green comes off the bench. He's, I'm getting to the rack. Junior out of Tuscaloosa. Trevian Bell, another one of those freshmen for the Phoenix. Para misfired on the pass to Bell. A little miscommunication. And, uh, you know, both, both the young guys pouting about it. And, hey, guess what? It happens from time to time. Got on a great run right now. Worry about the next play, stay in the moment. Gotta take care of the ball. Eight turnovers in the game for the Phoenix right now. Six for Eastern Illinois. Lewis is back in the game. He threw a wild pass. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a wild pass, no. Shavers. Shavers finished. From the, from the G on the Phoenix there, stepping into that three. First points of the game for Shavers. He was held scoreless in the Bradley game. And they will get a foul on Justice Green. So the Panthers over the limit. 17 fouls now, so Sukjok Baines goes to the free throw line. Missed the front end of a one-on-one. -on -one. Gotta have those. Yeah, you gotta have them, especially heading into the halftime. So now how does, uh, does the Panthers have a chance to close this out on a mini run of their own? Just hit the three last possession. And they got their leader on the floor right now in Terrell Lewis. 10 points a game for Lewis. 34 assists coming into the game. From the corner, last shots of the first half is no good. And we have reached intermission with Eastern Illinois leading Green Bay 39-26. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Back at the Rush Center where it is halftime and Eastern Illinois leading Green Bay, 39-26. Ted and CB with you. And it was a quick start for, for the visiting Panthers tonight. Phoenix doing everything they could early on. Yeah, you see it here. Patterson kicks it off with a nice post touch and finish. And you see Khalil Small taking the contact into the floater. 
And uh, both teams, I mean, at, at the start, both teams kind of got it going after uh, after the Panthers started off on a run. But you see Chris here in transition. Pro hops into a finish. And Patterson with the defensive block and rebound. Parham with a nice little step back. But then you're going to see the Panthers get it going. And Dama, that man there, he's got a high motor. And you see him go to the next floor and stuff it home with two hands there. And you're yeah, going to have... Hankerson get out in, or oh, excuse me, Dama with the nice rebound and finish. Extra effort started by Starks again. You see Hankerson gets lost in, trans in transition and finishes. And you're going to see Parham come off of a nice little drive, get into that step, step back footwork with a light fade. You like that going right. Um, and all that still led to a 39-26 advantage for the Panthers. Um, they've done a tremendous job of just really kind of keeping the, the, their foot on the throttle here in this first half. Yeah, Parham with seven points on three of three. Shooting had a uh, three-pointer in there as well. Small leading the Phoenix with eight points in that first half. Goodwin, 14 points to lead Eastern Illinois. Dama's got six points. He had two free throws and two dunks. Yeah, so five <laughs> and five rebounds. So you're getting it done. You bet. First half summary brought to you by Prevea Health. Like family. It's halftime. Eastern Illinois leading Green Bay 39-26. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Well, that is not the Phoenix and the Panthers out there. Little uh, basketball players <laughs> from De Pere entertaining the crowd here at halftime. Eastern Illinois out to a 13-point lead on the Phoenix at the break. How about the Phoenix women though? Want to talk about them for a moment. Congratulations to coach Kevin Borseth and the Phoenix women. Big win this morning on the road. Yeah, had a daytime, had a children's day down in Dayton. 9,000 people. That had to be a <laughs> heck of an atmosphere. Uh, but 75-64 in favor of the Phoenix. They, they got ranked and they uh, keep it rolling. So big win last weekend over Marquette as well. And Jessica Lindstrom had a huge game for the Phoenix today. 29.17 rebounds. That's a, that's a grown woman uh, stat right there. Congratulations to her on that big game and a career. She reached 1,000 points in her career in that victory for the Phoenix. So we're looking forward to seeing them next time around on ESPN3 back at the Cress Event Center. Right now, it is Eastern Illinois leading the Green Bay men, 39-26. We'll step away. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Thirty-nine twenty-six, Eastern Illinois leading Green Bay. Time to take a look at the first half stats brought to you by Cellcom, built for you. And as we look a little bit deeper into these stats, CB, it is Eastern Illinois getting a lot more shots off right now than the Phoenix. Well, yeah, they, uh, they forced the Phoenix into eight turnovers, and right now they're plus eight in the shot chart. So, I mean, they have 33 field goal attempts uh, compared to the Phoenix 25. And analytics will tell you that the more shots you can get up, even if you're in that 40 to 50% range, the more likely you are to be in the lead. So uh, they're doing a great job of, of uh, help defense in the half court, and that's creating, um, you know, tough situations offensively for the Phoenix. And it's leading to fast break points for the Panthers. I mean, as you look just at, at the straight stats here, it doesn't look like this game is is very far apart. But, but in that first half, though, Eastern Illinois pretty much controlled the tempo throughout that first half. No, they were down. They came out, they uh, they, they punched J Green Bay in the chin to start the, the game uh, with a 9-0 run there to, to kick it off, and then, uh, or excuse me, 6-0 run to start it off. Uh, and the Phoenix battled back, but I mean, you sit here at a 13-point 13, 13 advantage for the Panthers, and uh, a lot of it has to do with the pace of play. They've done a great job of really controlling this, the tempo of this game. All right, one more break. We'll come back start the second half. After this break, you're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Tonight's second half broadcast of Phoenix Basketball is brought to you by Prevea Health, Pepsi Cola, and Oneida Nation. Welcome back to the Rush Center, everybody. Ted Stefani and Cordero Barkley. Ready to start. Half number two between Eastern Illinois and Green Bay. The Phoenix will get the ball to start the second half. Inside they go. Parham. Working against contact will shoot some free throws. So the, right away they go to Parham, who had a really nice first half for the Phoenix. Yeah, Parham playing very well in a nice groove. Pops Goodwin in the face as he tried to pivot through. Not a not not in a uh, malicious play, but more of a pivot to create space. 
Been able to draw the foul. He's at the line for two. Phoenix mixing things up a little bit here in the second half of their starters. Manny Patterson, Soup Jock Baines, TJ Parham, Khalil Small, and Cam Hankerson starting the second half. The second half starting lineups brought to you by Pepsi Cola. Parham missed the second one. Phoenix two of four as a team from the free throw line. Didn't get there very much in the first half. But in games like this, every point makes such a difference. Yeah, and especially uh, when you're trying to mount a combat, comeback if you're the Phoenix. And defense helps too. Baines able to drop, jump the passing lane for his third steal of the game. Wow. Yeah. Baines with a steal and coast to coast, something we haven't seen Baines do. No, he's capable, but no, you have not seen him do a lot of that. Able to get the finger roll up and over. Baines has been averaging just under two points a game. Only played eight minutes against Belmont on Saturday. <laughs> You got a shot clock situation here. Lewis, <laughs> that is a wild three-pointer. And somehow Dama got the rebound and was able to throw up another shot before the shot <laughs> clock expired. Oh, you see Baines here go coast to coast. But that was a good defense by the Phoenix. And Coach Spoonhauer, he's, uh, he's in his defensive stand here. You'll probably be able to see him in the wide shot at the end of the, the screen there. Jay Spoonhauer in his sixth season as the head coach of Eastern Illinois. Son of the great Charlie Spoonauer. Oh, Khalil Small drew a crowd on that baseline. Tied up and we're gonna get a foul. Yeah, Khalil Small though drove in the three defenders and luckily to get out of there. Yeah, you see him with, with the arm grab there at the last second. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. And boy, is Dama active. Look at an, another deflection. And because of that lead in the first half, they were able to rest Dama a good chunk of that late of that first half. No, it's definitely a luxury when you can get your big some rest, keep them fresh for the second half. And now the Phoenix see what they can get. Another deflection. And comes up with the steal that time. He's all over the place. He's a senior. Here's another senior, Lewis. Dama keeping it alive. And into the cheerleaders he goes. <laughs> <laughs> He's all over the place. And the Phoenix, I feel like, got away with a push as well on that rebound. But Dama's just really just imposing his will on the boards. And defensively, he's getting a ton of deflections. Parham's shot was deflected. Small gets the deflection and puts it in. We call that a pass. Yeah. <laughs> now Parham lucky there, forced that shot. Khalil Small, one of the better offensive rebounders in the Horizon League. Able to collect and finish. Now we saw Lewis leave the first half with an injury and come back in for the Panthers. Starks is not on the floor. Don't see him on the bench either. He left late in the first half for Eastern Illinois as well. Here are the Phoenix on a steal. Baines will bring it across the timeline, working against Lewis, now Parham. And I feel like Chris, he's passing up good looks uh, in, in uh, the half-court offense. He's had a couple of chances to get a three off. I don't know if it's a confidence deal or what, but that's what he's on the court to do, stretch the floor. Good pass by Palm. And big fella, you got to get it up high. Bring it down to the land of those little guys. They're going to tie you up. Nice pocket pass. And that's not all Patterson's fault there. That was a, a strange. Well, I was going to say, that's, you're, that's a tough coach right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want it all. I want it all, Teddy. I want it all. It's a bounce pass in there. He didn't handle it very cleanly, but still, I, Crossland did a great job yeah. to come in there and tie that up. Without fouling. 
Adama and Patterson have just been battling each other on the block. Uh, they've been pounding, pounding the, the daylight out of each other. A senior and a freshman. Pretty good to see Patterson stay in there with him, though. Another deflection from the Phoenix. When they've turned up this defense, and Palmer give it right back. Dama, the dish to Jackson. And it wasn't going in anyways. Well, they were calling goaltending. Well, they called the foul first on Jackson. Yeah, yeah it wasn't. It was off. It wasn't going to go in anyways. Yeah, I think it was going to bounce off Dama with his head at the rim. Motor. <laughs> Always around the ball. Always around the ball. And Palm had a chance to just advance the ball with the pass, so tried to dribble through there and then ends up giving it right back. And again, you negate good effort. The Phoenix with multiple back-to-back well, -back -back turnovers in possessions uh, on the defensive end, creating them, and you give it right back. Makes it tough. I saw Jackson at the free throw line in the first half. He's been to the free throw line uh, a team high 36 times coming into this game. So he finds a way to get to the line. You tell him where, where he's from again? Where's he from? He's from Racine. Oh, that's, I mean, that's right. That's I what, forgot. That's I what forgot. we do. <laughs> in case you didn't, I mean. Get to the free throw line. Yeah, no, I'll play tough. <laughs> tough players get to the line, Ted. I ain't seen no soft players at the free throw line. <laughs> Takes a grown man to go in there and get fouled. I'm just trying to let you know that, that much. Jackson and Parham are working on each other on the block, and they're going to get Parham with a push. Uh, uh, you, you see who he pushed, too. He drew another foul. <laughs> Won't get to the free throw line on this one. <laughs> but everyone will take a moment to catch their breath. There's a timeout on the floor, and you're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Phoenix basketball is brought to you by Adidas, the preferred apparel and footwear supplier of Green Bay Athletics. 40-31, Green Bay hanging around in this game. Still a lot of time at 15-54. Yeah, I mean, they, they've done a good job. First four minutes of a half, um, especially, you know, any half, the, the finish or the start here. Finish of the first half, start of the second half is huge, and the Phoenix has been able to kind of chip away at that lead and weather the storm. See if they can get a little bit closer here. Goodwin with a three. It's been Green Bay that's controlled the tempo here in the second half. Absolutely, they've done it with defense. Gotta get those shots to fall. Patterson doing a great job staying with it. And then a jump ball called. They tied up Patterson, but a good job by the, the young fella to, to stay yeah, with it. Yeah, you, you love the effort. I mean, he's uh, multiple efforts there, and uh, he's kind of turned it to the enforcer for this Phoenix team down here in the paint. Khalil Small got away with one there. <laughs> Almost hit Lewis in the head. Small thought about the jumper. Changes mind midair. Now takes the three. There it is. Well, we talked about him getting some more three-point opportunities when you're shooting close to 50% from that three-point well, line. And you would think, it, and that's a great shot by Small, but you would think the Panthers would have a little bit more urgency in closing out to him. And Jackson, again. From Racine, going to the free-throw line. From Racine, Wisconsin, going <laughs> to the line. Yeah, Khalil Small there, again, just a, too much separation from Goodwin. And, Khalil Small makes him pay. And Jackson is just playing punishing basketball on this other end. He's, Phoenix have three fouls. Jackson's drawing all three of them this half. Averaging close to nine points per game. A missed free throw for Jackson. Now he's getting to the free throw line, but he's got to work on that percentage. Only around 56%. Yeah, well, I didn't, you know, I just said we get there, uh, Ted. <laughs> I didn't talk about conversion rate. Got a seven-point game against Bradley on Saturday. And as a coach, you can live with that to a degree because, I mean, you're setting yourself up for a bonus, earlier bonus in this half, which on the road is huge. Baines faked the three, gave it to Parham. Lewis with the rebound.
Jackson now, guarded by Baines. Here's Crossland. Panthers being much more patient in the second half. Crossland may have got away with a walk there. Jackson from 15, rebound, Crist. That's a good possession there by the Phoenix, though, able to weather a couple of reversals. Chris loads up a three, got it, nothing Man. but net. And that's gotta feel good for Chris. Nice looking drive and kick from Khalil Small, and that's what Chris is on the floor to do. Chris, the great shooter in high school, that's just his third made three this season. Came in shooting 25% from that three point line. And he's, he's a better than a 25% three point shooter. And there is the answer from Montel Goodwin. And Goodwin put the phone sign up, said, call me in long distance. <laughs> so old Karan Butler here. Dial me in. Baines back to Chris. Chris feeling it got hit. No call. Dama secures the rebound. Gives it up to Crossland. Smalls went for the steal, the spin, and Chevalier with the rebound. <laughs> Crossland just ran into the, the Mack truck <laughs> called Khalil Small. And Chris leaves it, Chris leaves it hanging on that driving kick. But you see the answer there, Goodwin, man. He's been in some type of groove <laughs> in this me, game. Right? Yeah, no, that's that long distance phone call right there. <laughs> Goodwin, a senior out of Cleveland. And there's a steal. Crossland will be challenged and fouled by Hankerson. Yeah, Hankerson telegraphed that pass on a reversal. Well, and that's a that's a tough pass too when you're on the opposite rail. Yeah. And you make the pass to the opposite wing. Too long. Too long of a pass, absolutely. Especially at the Division I level. Too many athletes can go and get that. But it's getting closer here for the Phoenix. And they're chipping away. And this has helped. Panthers have not converted free throws. <laughs> Well, they were four of four from the free throw line in the first half. And Khalil Small is letting them know about it, too. <laughs> the game within the game, Ted. Missed two free throws. And again, we talk about how important those free throws are. We were talking about how important they are for the Phoenix. Just as important for the Panthers is this lead has just been narrowing and narrowing. Yeah, I mean, if, if you're... If you're the Panthers, you love that you're getting to the line, but you definitely need to see some go in. And if you're the Phoenix, you love as you can get possessions uh, back with the clock stopped. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a good win for the Phoenix being down right now. Hankerson in the corner. Gets to the paint. And I'm not sure who to credit the follow-up on that one. Yeah, a lot of people over the rim. So Eastern Illinois gets it after the ball goes out of bounds. Yeah, Coach Darden wanted a uh, he wanted a goal ten, sure. he, and the refs told him your own guy grabbed the net that shook the cylinder. How could you tell? I know <laughs> there were three or four I'm just, guys I'm up just there. I'm telling you what the ref said. <laughs> I couldn't tell. Dama challenged at the rim. And Phoenix will get the ball. There's a timeout on the floor. And a change in the momentum. The Phoenix coming strong. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Here's a look at that last Phoenix possession. Yeah, you see Hankerson here get to the rim. And Khalil Small on the foul through. We had Valier with the uh, tip in, but Small grabs the net, and Coach Darner was contesting that was the defense that grabbed the net. He wanted a goal to, and he said, no, no, no. It was your own guy. 
They got it right. Officials got it right. Yeah. We'll give them credit when the credit's due. <laughs> we question them every once in a while, but yeah. every once in a game. This, uh, this we haven't they had do a nice job. I'm about to say we, this this uh, crew hasn't we haven't had to say anything about them. It's true. And it's always a sign of a good good uh, good officiated game when you don't even notice the refs are here. Good pass, pass to pass. Chevalier. Oh, that oh, is oh, blocked. Oh. Chevalier <laughs> wanted a foul, but I wanted a goal ten. <laughs> Dama wanted to return the, the sender stamp. <laughs> well, that is how you get welcome to Division I college basketball. Yeah, he didn't see right that. There. He didn't see that in the Fox Valley Association last mm -hmm. year. <laughs> Some good basketball there, but <laughs> not like that. <laughs> not like this. Dalma, Dalma missed the uh, dunk. Good challenge again by the Phoenix. Hankerson lost the handle. Yeah, I tell you. We're gonna get a look at that Dama block here. Oh, he's got he's got a legit gripe on the goal ten though. Hit the glass. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I it's an announcer <laughs> jinx. So let me say something. Announcer jinx on the refs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new one. As <laughs> soon as you said something, Ted, I'm gonna blame you. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> well, I think you said the refs didn't make any mistakes tonight. <laughs> I felt like oh, you, you were you were allowing me up for that though. <laughs> I had no try; they want to leave you hanging, so I had to say something. I appreciate that. You know, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven minutes to go. It's a good thing we don't make mistakes over here, though. Oh, that's what? That's that's <laughs> mistakes? <laughs> I don't make any mistakes. Now on the mic, <laughs> shavers. Had it knocked away, but Lewis tracks it down. Here's a long three to beat the buzzer. Lewis almost put that in. <laughs> My goodness, he's online. Chevalier, that's a long three. Rebound, Dalma. Yeah, Chevalier, that's what he does. So he's a, uh, definitely a stretch big. He's good with that trail three. Jackson. And Dama with a finish. Fans looking for a travel on that, but the official said there was some, some control or, or a tip by the Phoenix. Yeah, there was a deflection there. In and out for Crist. Yeah, Crist halfway down and out. And a look of disbelief on his face as that came off the rim. Wide open look for Jackson, and he does not miss that. And waves to his teammates on the bench. Yeah, Jackson steps into a transition three. Great next pass by Lewis. Eastern Illinois extending that lead once again to double digits. Well, they, they have the momentum. I, they're just a different team when Dama's on the court. He just brings another level of energy. And Jackson, not the prettiest looking shot, but he got it to drop. No, and typically you don't find yourself that wide open. Yeah, those are actually harder shots to make. <laughs> Get so used to everything being contested. Parham, that is picked by Lewis. Trying to do just a little too much, and Lewis, I tell you what, he's so quick laterally. The pass oh, was broken oh, up oh. by Bell, but it ends up in Dama's hands. The foul on Parham. And Dama with a good patience. Jackson just sneaks behind the defense, uses a shot fake to lift him, and draws a foul. So it's D'Angelo Jackson back to the free throw line. Fourth time tonight. Four of seven from the line now. Bell will take a break, and Baines comes back in for him. Baines, Chris, Jesperson, and Parham along with Small on the floor for the Phoenix right now. You see Ray Crossland checking back into the game for the Panthers. Crossland out of Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. 
Crist all the way to the rim. And Chris getting to the rack with ease on that one, able to finger roll it and finish. Five points, excuse me, seven points now for Hunter Crist. Goodwin. Oh. Got it to go. With the touch. Goodwin's having himself a heck of a ball game. 17 points now. 19. Stats are a little slow up Yeah, right. man. No, it's all right. <laughs> Baines. And I like this timeout by Coach Darner here. Baines with a nice open hit from three. That'll make it a 10-point game. And we'll step away. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Ten point game with 8-13 remaining in this ball game at the Rush Center in Green Bay. Montel Goodwin averages about nine points a game, had five points on Saturday against Bradley, but like you said, he is having himself a game. 19 points in this contest. No, he's, he's found a good groove early and he uh, hasn't slowed down. Eight of 15 from the floor, three of six from three. Two rebounds and uh, an assist, so he's playing playing very well in this game. Panthers with a chance to extend that lead as we hit the eight minute mark. In the second half, Jackson passed up a three, gives it to Dama, Dama cross court pass over the head of Lewis. Dama even smiles on a turnover. Another timeout on the floor. It's a 10-point contest in Green Bay. You're watching Phoenix Basketball on ESPN3. Well, Eastern Illinois missed out on a chance to extend that lead with a turnover, 12th turnover of the game for the Panthers. Stats have been pretty close. Green Bay's got 14 turnovers, but up and down the statistics, very close game. No, it's been a very, very close game. And again, the Phoenix have just, they haven't really been able to get over that hump. They've gotten it to 9 and 10, and then, the Panthers have hit a couple of, of clutch shots, so uh, going in, Jesperson with a quality looking palm with a great weak side wedge, but they just haven't been able to bridge that gap. Get it down into single digits a little bit deeper. Jesperson challenging Dama and got it. And nice footwork again in the post. Step, step, move by Jesperson. And you see the Phoenix now in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. I actually like this for a change of pace defense for this team. They do have a lot of length evenly across the wings. Oh, Eastern Illinois wants to play this out, maybe get a little deeper into the shot clock. Nope, Goodwin wants to try that three. Well, I think if I was Goodwin, I'd take a shot too. <laughs> He's been feeling it. He's been feeling it. But that's the, uh, that's the stop you need. Now on the uh, offensive end, can you get another bucket to chip away? Even with that miss, he's shooting 50% from the field in this game. Parham for three. Well short. Gets another crack at it, and it was taken away by Dama. And now you have the Phoenix just really crashing the offensive boards and getting rebounds. Yeah, you see that deflection there, good hands by the Panthers. It's a big possession here. Get yeah. it to six or even five on this one. They going for five. Jesperson. And Jesperson cuts it to five. Well, you've clawed your way back into this one. Small encouraging the crowd to get into it. Help them with the D. The one, three, one defense once again. Baseline jumper, put back by Crossland goes. Caught it midair and put it back. Great body control by Crossland. Oh, that is tough. Tough, 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 big time finish. That's the toughest thing in that 1-3-1 one, one zone, no weak side rebounding. It is always tough in a 1-3-1. One, one. Foul will go against Lewis. A little shove in the back. 
on Christ. Just making sure he knows, he knows he's on the court. <laughs> Second foul on Lewis. Dama will pick up another foul. Yeah, again, the use of the head, head fake. Jesperson knowing he just hit a three. Lifts Dama and smartly runs into him. Third team, or excuse me, third personal on Dama. Small with the finish. Yeah, nice backdoor hit, or nice backdoor cut, should I say, and nice pass. Khalil Small able to, to take the pass from Palm and put it in. And now, Ted, this game is going back and forth, and it's a little tight. This 1-3-1 has changed the pace for the Panthers. And this is where Lewis's lack of height kind of, he's crafty, but it definitely makes it more complicated for him to see some of these passes. Good touch and go by Khalil Small, able to finish. And he, too, makes some nice adjustments midair to finish that one. Lewis tried to go over Jesperson. And he just doesn't seem to have the lift on that ankle that he had in the first half before he turned it. Good point. Chance to dig a little bit deeper. Oh, and a oh, great job by Baines to save it. And then almost gave it right back. Yeah. <laughs> I think they want the possession. <laughs> <laughs> Got to take care of the ball. Five-point game. Just under five minutes to go. 13 on the shot clock. Got to move a little quicker. Parham had a great look at it. Jesperson keeps it alive. Parham for three again and a miss. Well, you got two quality looks there. And that, not able to get either one of them go. But love the effort again. Jesperson taking it from Dama. Able to create the extra possession. Now you got to dig in, and if you're the Panthers, you got to work for a good look. And off the missed shot, Eastern Illinois will get it back. And that rebound kind of took a funny hop. <laughs> I blame the Adidas basketball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got out of bounds quickly. A little give and go. Better ball movement here by the Panthers on this possession. Now Lewis will bring it out. Waits for the screen from Shavers. Dama, and he is fouled. And the Phoenix are in the bonus now. Now, Ted, we were complaining earlier about how uh, games get into the bonus real early. And uh, we're, we got four minutes left, and we're just reaching the bonus, so... Again, the refs have let them play just enough. And to be honest with you, this has been a well-played game by both teams on the defensive end. Hasn't been a lot of fouls. It's an old-school Dick Bennett score right here. We're barely making <laughs> it out of the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eastern Illinois shooting 58% from the free throw line. They were four for four at half from the line. Dama. I don't even know. Did that hit the rim? No. Hit the backboard. Yeah, and that's the thing. When you see when uh, when you have people go to the free throw line and miss, it does make you tight when you're the next one up because you don't want to be the guy that, that keeps that going and you feel that pressure to break it. And uh, sometimes that can put added pressure on you from the line. Yeah, one of the weaknesses of, in Dama's game, he's been outstanding throughout this whole night. Parham just can't get it to go here. The last couple of minutes had some really good looks. Baines now, guarded by Jackson. Oh, that's offensive, eh? Woo. I feel like uh, Baines got away with a forearm shiver there. You'll see it here. That's good defense. Good lucky break for the Phoenix. They'll have the ball when we come back. You're watching Phoenix basketball on ESPN3. Five-point lead for Eastern Illinois. The, the chicken launch, folks, didn't help uh, the, the, the mood here in the stadium. Oh, man. 
Ofer? Ofer five, and the, the crowd was letting him have it. Didn't like the effort on the chicken launch. Team. Rightfully so, I mean. <laughs> I mean, they're giving out free money to festival fools. I, I, put me out, put me in the game, coach. <laughs> I'll go get us 20, at least $20 or something. 3.38 remaining in this one. It's been a good one. Phoenix trying to close the gap. Work their way back from a big deficit in the first half. And now you see, uh, looks like Eastern Illinois may be in a little bit of a zone. A little bit of a matchup. Dama again at the, <laughs> the top of the rim for the rebound. Every shot challenged, as you'd expect, in a tight game down the stretch. As we close in on the three-minute mark of the second half. Back to man on defense for the Phoenix coming out of that timeout. Small on Lewis. And Lewis, fighting for his own rebound, will get it as a team rebound. Good hustle by Lewis. Yeah, again, he's been just a little bit short ever since he's rolled that ankle on his three, but you love the hustle, the selflessness there to sacrifice the body. Going for that rebound. Lewis will bring it back to the top of the key here and try to run a little clock. Trying to protect that five-point lead. Christ. Tried to take a charge there. Yeah. I, if he had taken it right away, I think he would have got it. He fell a little bit too late. And Palm able to jump the passing lane. Just needs to control it right now. Gets it to Small. Small with the finish. Three-point game. It's big. It's big. Palm getting it done in the gap help on defense. Able to drop it off to Khalil Small. And you hear the crowd into it now. The Phoenix jump into this 1-3-1. This 1-3-1 has really altered the pace of this game for this Phoenix team. Pass to Dama broken up by Small. But the Panthers control. Ten seconds on the shot clock as we've reached the two-minute mark in the half. And a big three from Crossland. That is a big, big make for Crossland. And cold-blooded from the corner. And the answer from Khalil Small, the senior answers. <laughs> Khalil Small stepping up with a corner three of his own. And left corners on both sides of the rim, right? Been hot. <laughs> Back to a three-point game, one possession. Steal by Baines. Baines doesn't have the numbers, pulls it out. Great decision. Comes back to Baines for the three and the tie! Soup Jock Baines! Soup Jock Baines gets the steal and a deflection at the top of the zone. And then it's the big three on the other end. And we got a timeout. Jay Spoonauer will take the timeout after the Phoenix have tied the game at 57 apiece. Well, it hasn't always been pretty in this game, but the Phoenix have shown a lot of heart, pulling themselves back into this one to tie the game with 102 to play. Well, as you see the drop off here to Small, but they've gotten it done on this end of the court. They, they decided to dig in defensively. Coach Darner going to this 1-3-1 to take a look, and uh, they've really dug in and found their intensity, and you see the results here. Phoenix on a 6-0 run over the last 43 seconds. Uh, but this entire half has been a slow, <laughs> regimented chip away at that 13-point lead that the Panthers started to half with. Well, how important was that patient by Baines after the steal? He was—he didn't have the numbers. No. It was two on one. He decided to pull it back, and it came back to him. And I love when guys are rewarded for that. I mean, that's trusting the process there, trusting your teammates. But making the right basketball play sometimes in basketball, the guys give you some redemption. So 102 to play, it's a tie game. The Phoenix certainly have the momentum right now. What do you look for the Phoenix to do here in the last 102? Well, I would be surprised if they come out of this zone. They've gotten quality looks, uh, but they may go man to man. And if you're Eastern Illinois, I'm thinking you're gonna get some type of high ball screen action. They've done a good job of getting weak side flares off of that. Uh, I think you're either going to Goodwin or you're looking for something for Lewis or Dama in the pick and roll. And you see the Phoenix here will stay in that 1-3-1 one, one zone. And why wouldn't you? Baines at the top 
of the zone. Big body against Lewis. And yeah, Lewis struggling to find a lane to pass the ball. Lewis, 10 seconds on the shot clock. He'll throw one up. Maybe not the best decision right there. Jesperson with the rebound. I don't know if they were going to get a better look if he didn't take that shot. 33 seconds to play. About an 11 second difference on the game clock and the shot clock. Tie contest. Christ has the ball. 10 on the shot clock now. Baines guarded by Dama. Baines gets to the rim. Finish. Baines with a big time drive. And now with 16 seconds left, Coach is going to go to the far side here. 10 seconds to play. The Phoenix lead by two. Goodwin's had the hot hand. Five seconds. Lewis for the win. And the Phoenix hang on for the victory. Great comeback. These are one of those wins that can help turn your season around if you're the Phoenix. And if you're the Panthers, you're devastated here because you've been in these games all season and have not been able to come up with ways to win them. How huge was Suk Jock Baines in the last couple of minutes of this game? I mean, he got the deflection in the steal, hit the three, and the game winning layup at the end of regulation. Huge ball game. Huge win for the Phoenix, who improved to three and four on the season. Eastern Illinois is going to fall to two and six. What a contest. Great effort by Green Bay to fight their way back. They were down big in this one, but come back for the victory. Green Bay finishes the game on an 8-0 run over the last 145 in the contest. 20 to 5 run over the last eight minutes. So again, way to find they found a way to dig in defensively and found a way to get buckets on the offensive end when they needed to. Congratulations to Coach Darner and the Green Bay Phoenix. We're gonna wrap it up for Cordero Barkley. I'm Ted Stefaniak saying so long from Green Bay with a final score once again, a comeback win for the Phoenix. 59-57 over Eastern Illinois. To watch this entire game on replay, as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.